Happy Daily Tangle Time to everybody. Today's tangle is called Flying Lights, and I am not even going to attempt this name. I'm, I will butcher it, but I'm going to zoom it really big so you can see who was the designer of this pattern. Eshuara Tarba. I am so sorry. I apologize for butchering people's names. I'm not good with names to start with, and I'm really not good. Yeah, just not good. Anyway, this one is called Flying Lights. It looks like step one. You make this sort of, I need my pointer, this sort of two lines in a, in a little circular spot there. And then you do it again a little bit shorter, not as long. And then fill in right there. See that spot? Fill in right there. And then put a circular shape right around it, attaching to here. And then inside the circular shape, you want to put these little lines. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. That's better. And there we go. It looks like a light bulb. And you can do them in various ways. That's really cute. I like that. So we're going to play around with this, see what we get, see what the tile says we want to have done. I'm going to give myself a little string. It seems like it should be more organic of a pattern. I think I'm going to, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't want it to seem specifically one way or the other. So I think, I think I'm going to put a sort of an organic line through the middle like this. And I think I'm going to put some going one way and some going the other. That way it doesn't appear that they're all one direction. <laughs> so, oh. Where's my, where's my step out? I'm going to kind of look at that. It looks like I'm going to and you know, I think I'm going to put this line in like that. I'm going to do one right here and I'm going to put a line like that. And then this little circular bit like this. I don't know if you can see that little circle. It's kind of small. Fill in the right there. And then do another one right like that. And then another short line like this. With another circular part like that. And then from here, sort of a roundy shape with something like that. And I'm going to just kind of decide that they're, they're going to live. There's one here. I'm going to make it really long. And I'm going to make my stem kind of curvy. I'm going to make it a little more organic than, than just straight poles and light bulbs, I think. That's just me. Do whatever you want. I think I'm going to draw this a little bit first, just so I have know where I want my bulb thing to go. Bulbs don't have to be completely their same shape either, right? They can go either direction. I think that's kind of fun. Here and here. Do a 
a short one. that yeah those are really really fun oh I'm having a blast here let's put one really little one right here and go behind that one like that and maybe one coming this way What are these? These are so much fun. Maybe should I put a little one right there? Sure, why not? got quite the tur curve to it. Wow, you can make them way organic. They don't have to be just straight. That's that's fun. Okay. So let's go this other direction. Um have this one go right here. Maybe I'll have one that's kind of way, way curved like this. What do you think? Like way over here. Does that work? That seems to work. Um, one here. This one really fat here inside. Like that. 
Why not? Maybe some wigglies instead of straights for that. Yep. Something like this. Um, I feel like I want another one here. Are these ones with the squigglies because if you don't do if you only do one uh, variation and you don't do at least one more somewhere then it looks like you made some sort of mistake but if you make a variation and you do it more than once then it looks like it's an on purpose I want one more in here but I think I want to try to decide if I want to bring it this way if I want to start it, maybe I'll start it over here. Bring it this way. Look like Dr. Seuss light bulbs, huh? they can live any which direction this looks like it needs something to, to see how I've got that end of this line it doesn't just end but this one does I feel like it needs something here so that it's not just ending there just like I did on the other one we'll just put one more little one oops Now there's like no beginning and no end. That's better. Oh, isn't that fun? I like it. Wow. That did not turn out anything like I expected because I sort of had, see that's what happens when you try really, when, when you just turn off the, uh, the step out and just do your own thing because this is very straight. The step out is very straight and linear and kind of lollipop or, you know, light bulb like paddle like. And then the example shows it and it shows it really cool mixed with other tangles, but it's specific. It's they're dangling straight down. And so you might have it in your head that that's the only way you can draw something. Um, so set it aside and then just kind of play with it yourself and you will end up with something completely different. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and do some shading. This one definitely needs shading because there's a lot of overlap. So for sure you want to shade where the bulbs overlap each other. I 
that's step one and where the little stems overlap each other for sure so that's the first thing I do is I do all my overlapping spots first and then I decide if I want to make a light source coming from any one particular direction then I add that but I always just start with whatever is overlapping okay we're going to start with that make sure you're using your your blending stump remember if your blending stump gets too dirty and it's starting to really smudge where you don't want it to smudge um, you can clean it off. Just use use an emery board because all this is 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 compressed paper. So just use just use any old emery board and just you know give it a little scrumble on here. That will clean it off the tip and it'll make it pointy again so that you can get into those little spots oh goodness sakes it's hot again give you guys a weather report every so often I've been giving you a lot of it's hot weather reports because it's hot and I try really hard not to have the air conditioning running when I don't have to um, especially while I'm drawing because it's loud however I also don't like having sweaty hands on my drawings so the AC may have to come on here in a minute. I'll finish this one first. Turn your tile to keep your hand out of out of the uh, graphite whenever possible. Okay, so then I need to decide what I want to do if I want to um, do all the stems or if I want to emphasize where they're located here or on the edges um, to kind of think perhaps I will make the light source coming from this direction I'm just putting this here I normally I wouldn't put it this dark but I want you guys to see where I'm remembering my light source usually I just put a little dot and so think about where your if your lights coming this way then on this side there will be some shadow so it'll be here on this side of these guys and it'll be on this side of the bulb and where it's overlapped it might even be real much darker than I've already started it because that's where this the um, the light will the light will be blocking this more than was blocking this this still gave it some shadow because this one's on top of that one but this one's on top of this one plus it's got the light source going that way so this will be a lot darker there a little bit here on this side a little bit here on this side a little bit on this side and then on the other, it'll be here, and it'll be here. 
and that'll be here. It'll be on this side of this one. And this side of this one. And here. And much darker here for that same reason. And then it'll be here. And it'll be here. And it'll be here. Like that. Okay, let's give that a go. Even though I've already shaded in that one spot, I need to blend it again. You want to get rid of that pencil. Um, the scratchiness of the pencil where you've seen where you've actually drew the pencil, you want to kind of blend that. And then if you accidentally get pencil where you don't want it, just bring out your eraser. Remember your eraser can be your friend, it's okay. Um, most of the time I don't, you know, erase and and certainly wherever I've put pen I don't I don't go back through and you know if I've made a mistake I certainly don't go back through and uh, try to use white out or something to fix it. I just move on and, and incorporate whatever my goof is into my drawing. That helps keep your your creative part of your mind active and there's that Zen part where your mind kind of just goes into its into the zone. You're, you know it's the same zone you get when you go out running or riding your bike or, or swimming or any other kind of exercises that you're doing repetitively. You get in the zone. You get in that same zone when you're drawing. People don't seem to... People who are non-artistic don't get that. Once you've gotten there though, you totally get it. And you're in the zone. And and sometimes when I'm drawing, I get in that zone and and then I can't even really talk and uh, tell you guys what I'm doing because I'm in the zone. My brain does not want to engage the speaking portion. Turn that. I don't know why I didn't turn my tile to start with, but I didn't. All right, you gotta turn it, make it, make it happen for you. Okay, that is so much fun. Look at that. I am so happy with this tile. Can't tell you how happy I am with this tile. Um, get out my little handy dandy kneaded eraser. These are great. You can make them the shape that you need them to get into those spots where I got a little carried away with the blending tool and it got away from me outside my lines. So I can come in here and I can just clean it up just a little bit. Get rid of my, I did, I did create a, a, a string border, but then I didn't really kind of use it. So I'll just get rid of it. And fix some of those spots where I've just got a little carried away. And you might not even be able to tell these spots that I'm cleaning up because sometimes you just can't see it on on, on the uh, camera, but I can see it. So I'm gonna fix those. And then I'm gonna get rid of this, get rid of this arrow that I drew. 
Ooh, I drew it really dark. Okay, that's better. Okay, there you go, guys. Let me put a name on there so I can remember what it's called. It is called Flying Lights. Oh, where do I want to put the name? Let's put it up here. Flying lights. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. This one was fun. Thank you to the pattern designer of this one. This was a really fun pattern to use. Bye y'all. See you tomorrow.